Hello guys, Edgar with Promspot.com and today we are checking out a very cool app that's actually it's from one of my favorite services. It's called 500px or for short I call it 500 pix or pixels you know and it's right here. It's the new Chrome app and it pretty much is designed to work with the Chromebook Pixel for touch it's kind of like a touch interface and you can really tell so this is breaking a new barrier it's like walking into a new door for Chrome for Chrome OS really or Chrome in general uh, but you can use it with any Chrome browser really but you can tell that it's meant to be for the pixel and it's meant to be for a touch based device so what we're gonna do no not there we're gonna open a new and new, I'll leave the link to uh, to this one in the description and you'll be able to download it and check it out yourself and right here I have it and I press on it and it pretty much pops up this new window and so it's completely separate from the background right? and you can like minimize it and you can bring it back up and it'll be there and and you have all the pictures from 500px uh, it's pretty cool you can search through the popular ones and this is just scrolling but for example see if I open this it's uh, from this guy and it tells you the little profile thing and it takes a little bit of time to load but there you go see you gotta like click and then drag so it's kinda like a it's kinda like how you would swipe on your phone or on your Chromebook, Chromebook pixel now or on your tablet or whatever so you get all these pictures right here from this guy oh beautiful so yeah okay you go back and you got the editors choices here then you got some more of this let's see this lady here and this is pretty cool right what, what happened to the lady this is not the picture I opened there you go there's just loading Wow, that looks, oh, she looks kind of weird in the shape of her face, like an alien or something. <laughs> um, eagle, you know, pretty stuff, pretty stuff. Anyways, uh, upcoming, what does that even mean? Upcoming, oh, okay, okay, the pictures are upcoming, not like quite there yet, but they're, but they are becoming pretty popular. And so fresh here, and so that's pretty much the main areas where you can just you know search and browse through stuff and see what's cool. But if you want the the thing that I don't like about this is that you can't personalize it. Like if you have a 500 px account, like you can't sign in and go into your own stuff yet. At least you can only search and browse through like other people's stuff. I guess you could if I type in my name, Edgar Cervantes. Yeah, those are some of my pictures, but it doesn't really show all of them. And um, let's see, let's open this one. So that's a little cloudy, and this is my profile right here. So if I click on that one, well, I guess it was all of them. It's, I haven't uploaded a lot, I guess. But let's see, picture of my friend here when he graduated, and picture of the roses, my gargoyle. And so I guess you can do that. You can search for specific people and then just um, try to work it out like that. Cops and yeah. Occupy Tijuana and stuff. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Oh, wait, what's this? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't, if you go into my, pro okay. If you go into a person's profile, which this is mine, you can kind of see here, follow, affection, follow my camera. Well, that's, that's my old camera. I should change that, actually. That's like, that's old lenses I have, too. Um, there's the photos here. There's the flow. What's the flow? I really don't know. What oh, so it creates, like, this little cool thing with all of my favorite pictures, including my pictures. and yeah, That's pretty cool, just so you can have some eye candy for yourself. And favorites, those are my favorite picks. Um, some nice stuff in here. Yeah, yeah. I haven't really become much of an active member of 500px. I'm much more of a Flickr guy. But this is there's some really good stuff in here. You guys, if you like photography, you're gonna love this. And I guess 
well, yeah, it it come it. I wish I could log in and actually do stuff like upload my images from here and stuff. I wish you could have more features for purchasing prints, kind of like the full featured website, um, because you can buy these prints or if the if the author sets it for to for it to be purchasable, you can buy the prints. Pretty expensive, but you can buy them. And yeah, so it's missing some things, but it, it looks really nice for what it is. And it looks like it's gonna make some Chromebook Pixel users really happy. I mean, especially with like that resolution in some of these images. I mean, it's gonna look amazing. It's gonna look amazing. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show it off to you guys. After that, you can just close it and you're gone. You know, it's just another little window that pops up. Um, just wanted to show it off to you guys. It's relatively new. It was it was announced right after the Chromebook Pixel, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and you can use it even if you don't have the Pixel because I know that's expensive. But yeah, this is Edgar again from Chromespot.com. Don't forget to like this video, you know, favorite it, subscribe, share us, share it on Google Plus, on Facebook, wherever you want. And keep up the good life. Thank you. See ya.